Hello everyone, good afternoon. How are we doing today? How was your night? How is your day going? Did you have good rest last night? Did you sleep well? The Lord has been your strength. Thank God you're alive today. Glory and honor be to God of heaven and earth. You're alive today. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for all you've done for us. We thank you for your loving kindness, which is bigger than life. We thank you for your mercy that is new every morning. We thank you for your grace that is so special, Jehovah. We thank you knowing that you are our sufficiency, you are our answer, you are our solution, you are our everything, Jehovah. We thank you, we glorify you. Lift your name high. We say, Jehovah, only you will reign in our lives. Only you will reign, Lord. Right now, we present you, Jehovah, to the whole world. We showcase you, Lord, that you will touch your people, change your people, Lord. That as we listen to your message, Jehovah, that your daughter will speak like oracle of living God. Holy Spirit will speak through me, Jehovah. Your people will be blessed, Lord. Your people will be touched, Lord. You alone will be glorified, be magnified, be lifted high forever in the name of Jesus. Our Father, we thank you for a beautiful day. Thank you for this day you have made. We shall rejoice and be glad and say, Hallelujah. Blessed be to your name. Thank you, King of Glory. We worship you and magnify you in Jesus' name. Amen. My friends, it is nice to see you today again. Hallelujah. Today is 17th of September, and I'm happy that I'm alive. I don't know about you. I glorify God. It's a miracle that I'm alive today. I had a good sleep and good rest, and I had my breakfast this morning. I said, to God be all the glory. We are here to talk about sufficiency, that Jesus Christ is our sufficiency in the name of Jesus. And only him can supply all our needs and nobody else. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's quickly go to... to Philippians 4, 19, it says, And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Whatever that we, we need in our life, God will supply to us because he's the richest God on earth. He made the whole heaven and earth and he created all human beings. Everything in it belongs to him. The Bible says the earth is of the Lord and everything in it belongs to him. Hallelujah. So whatever that is your need, Hold on to Jesus. Let him be your sufficiency today that will supply you all your needs. Hallelujah. According to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's quickly go to, to Philippians 4.13. Since we are still in Philippians. He said, I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthened me. If you believe in God, child of God, you can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthened you. Because God is everything. All power belongs to him. But uh, in heaven, in earth, everywhere power is, it belongs to him. Hallelujah. He's the only one who can supply us our needs. He's the only one who can give us what we want. He's the only one who can heal us from our illness, from sickness, from whatever trouble we are inside. When we call upon his name, he'll hear us and show us many, many signs and wonders. There's no one else like Jesus. So once we have him, we have everything. Jesus is everything. And we can do all things through him who strengthen us, who empower us. Anything you want to do, involve Jesus inside it. You want to start business or ministry, or you want to marry, or you want to go into partnership with any business or anything that you want to do, or education, involve Jesus. Once you involve Jesus, you will excel. You will excel for he is the answer and the solution. And he's the beginning and the ending. If you don't involve Jesus, that's where your katakata, that's where your trouble starts. Once you involve Jesus in all that you are doing, you'll be a champion. You'll be excelling in everything. And to God be all the glory and honor and power. Let us obey the word of God and shall be well with us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's go to John 15, verse 7. He said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done to you. The problem is because we don't abide in the word of God. He's saying here in John 15, 7, John 15, 7, if we abide in Jesus Christ and we abide in his word and God himself abides in us, whatever we desire in our hearts, whatever we want to have, Whatever that we need, God will supply it to us. It is done. Believe that it's done. Believe God that it's done. Because you abide, you are believing that God say that he is who he is. He will do what he promised he will do. So believe and trust in him. He will do it and it will, it will come to pass in your life. And testimony will be yours to the glory of the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Let's quickly go to 2 Corinthians 9.8. I read and God is able to make all grace abound towards you and me. That you will always have all sufficiency hmm, in all things. You may have an abundance for every good work. You have abundance for every good work. God will give you all sufficiency. You see, all is your sufficiency already. Hallelujah. He will give you grace. To abound towards you. So you'll be able to make a living that is what of that of a child of God. Because God's strength is with you. who empower you. strengthen you to go beyond things that you cannot do in your human strength. For Bible says, by strength shall no man stand. 
You are not among those who lean on their own understanding before, because if you lean on your own understanding, you will be disappointed. Lean on God's understanding. Lean on God's word. He's the only one who can provide, who can make a way. He knows where the answer is. He knows your situations. He knows how to provide. He knows how to make a way. Where there's no way, he knows how to make a way. In the forest, he can make a way. In the desert, he can make a way. In the ocean, he can make a way. This is God that walks upon the sea. There's nothing he cannot do. All he has to do, believe and trust in him. It will shall come to pass. And God is able to make all grace about towards you. Once you have the grace of God, and the grace of God is upon you, he can be able to do everything. Hallelujah. God will lead you to the right direction. Because you involve God in it. And you'll be able to have all your sufficiency in all things that you have. In abundance of it, in you know, every work which you have done. As long as what you are doing, you call the name of the Lord, you involve Lord, God, involve God in your plan, involve God in your situation, involve God in your business, involve God in your marriage, involve God in your plans, whatever you are planning to do, God must be there first. For Bible says he's the first and the last, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. If you involve God, he will let you receive all the sufficiency because he himself is our sufficiency. He's the one who knows where the good things of life is. Hallelujah. Psalms 103, verse 5 says that God will satisfy your mouth with good things of life. Hallelujah. And he will renew your youth like that of egos. People in the world cannot give you anything that will satisfy your mouth. What they give you is what you vomit out. What God gives to you is permanent. When you believe in the word of God, when you abide in the word of God, when you abide in him and he abides in you, whatever he asks, he'll give it to you, he'll do it for you. But the problem, we don't abide in the word of God. We believe God halfway. If you are going for business halfway, half one leg in, one leg outside, it will not work. If you are in a marriage, one leg in, one leg outside, it will not work. You have to put yourself completely, believe that that will work. So believe in Christ completely. Don't put your, don't believe God halfway. Believe in his word. Trust him. Depend on him. Whatever he says you will be, that is what you will be. For he knows the best for you. He said, I know the thoughts I think towards you. It's not of evil. It's not to wicked you, but to give you expected end, expected blessing, expected glory. Let God be our sufficiency. Let Jesus be our sufficiency. For he knows where good things of life is. That's why he said he will supply you the good things of life. He will satisfy your mouth with the good things of life. And he will renew your youth like that of egos. That is Psalms 103 verse 5. Let us begin to abide in the word of God. I shall be well with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 3, 5. I love this. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think of anything as being from ourselves, but our sufficiency is from God. We are never sufficient ourselves. We are not. If you are depending on self-sufficiency, you are wasting time. Our sufficiency is from God. For we are nothing. For me, I'm nothing without Jesus. I'm nobody without Jesus. I am capital zero without Jesus. I'm hopeless without Jesus. I'm helpless without Jesus. I'm useless without Jesus. With Jesus, I'm complete. With Jesus, I'm stable. With Jesus, I'm fulfilled. So my hope is in him. My trust is in him. And my belief is in him. What he say I will be, that is what I will be. I'm not doubting the word of God. I will never doubt the word of God. For God says in John 1, 1, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And the word was God himself. So if God... Is the word himself, and the word is God himself. Why should I doubt the word of God? I shall believe what he said. It shall come to pass in my life. Let us not let devil deceive us anymore. Let us abide in the word of God, and the word of God abide in us. Abide in Christ. Abide in his word. And Christ will abide in you. And whatever you ask, he will give it to you. Our God is not a stingy God. He's all sufficiency God. We can never say that we have self-sufficiency. No. We'll be fooling ourselves. We are not sufficient ourselves at all in any way. In any way, as a human being. We are never. 
Don't compare yourself with people in the world. People in the world, they can do what they want to do. Tomorrow, they will fall. They are always from grace to grass. The people of God, from grass to grace. Hallelujah. Trust God. Believe Him. I shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's go to Ephesians 1, 3. Say, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. He has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heaven to Christ Jesus. Once we believe in him, there's nothing God cannot do for us. He can make a way where there's no way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As long as we abide in him and his word abide in us. Ask anything you desire. He will give it to you. He will give it to you. He's not a stingy God. He's not a wicked God. He's a kind God, very kind God, beautiful God, awesome God, glorious God, powerful God, faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Matthew 21, 22 says, And whatever things you ask in prayer, believe, believe in, in it, believe in, in your heart. You receive it. Believe in your heart that you already receive it. Because you know you are God. You trust in him. Hallelujah. Don't doubt God. Don't have unbelief spirit. Don't have fear. The only person you fear is devil. Uh, the only person you fear is God. Don't fear devil. Don't fear the things in the world. Only God you will fear. For God has the power to destroy the soul and the mind and the body. Fear only God. Refer him. Appreciate him. Believe in him. Don't doubt his word. Believe that he is who he is. I shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me just finish with this one. Now, let's go to Psalms 103, verse 2 to 4. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Hmm. Who forgives all your iniquities and sins? Who heals all your diseases? Who redeems you from destruction? Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. So when God will bless you, my dear children of God, my dear friends of our Lord Jesus Christ, tell your soul not to forget all the benefits that God has poured upon you. Spiritual benefits, physical benefits, the healing power of God upon you, healing you inside out, healing you emotionally, spiritually, physically, financially, psychologically. He healed you all around. And he forgive you all your iniquities. He heal you from your diseases. He forgive you all your sins. He's, he, he, he redeems you and saves you from destruction of enemies. And he crowns you with good things of life, with loving kindness and his tender mercies. When God will bless you, don't forget. Tell your soul, oh my soul, don't forget God's goodness upon me. Oh, my soul, don't forget all the benefits that God has given to me and all that is within me. Rise up and praise God. Rise up and thank God for all the benefits that has poured upon me, giving me life, giving me food on my table, supplying me all my needs according to his riches in heaven in glory by Christ Jesus, giving me promises that if I believe and abide in him and abide in his word and his word abide in me, that whatever I desire, he will give it to me. Father God, bless. Blessed be to your name. Blessed be to your name. Blessed be to your name. Glory be to your name. Honor be to your name. Adoration be to your name. Majesty be to your name. Beauty be to your name. Thanksgiving be to your name. Blessings be to your name. Praises be to your name. Majesty be to your name. Dominion be to your name. You that rules and reigns and lives from a blessing to a blessing through the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your word. May your word be not shot in our hearts. May we believe you and trust in you and wait on you. Help us not to rush things. Help us to wake up in the morning, be able to have one-to-one -one relationship with you, quality time with you before we leave the house. Let us include you in our plans, 
including in our businesses, including that everything we are doing in our families, Jehovah. In everything pertaining in our lives, let us include in you. Let your word abide in us. Let us abide in your word. Let us obey you. Let us be sensitive to you. Let us believe in you. Let us listen to you. And your plans and your thoughts will come to pass in our lives through the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, we thank you. We bless you. Take all the glory. Take all the glory. Take all adoration through the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Take glory, Father, take glory, Son, take glory, Holy Ghost, I am born again, I am born again, take glory, Father, take glory, Son, take glory, Holy Ghost, I am born again, hallelujah, take glory, Father, take glory, Son, take glory, Holy Ghost, I am born again, I am born again, take glory, Father, take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost, I am born again. I am born again. Take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost, I am born again. I am born again. Take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost, I am born again. Hallelujah. Take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost. I am born again. Hallelujah. Take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost. I am born again. Take glory, Holy Ghost. I am born again. Take glory, Holy Ghost. We are born again. Take glory, Holy Ghost. I am born of God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We lift your name higher, we lift your name higher, oh mighty Jesus, we lift your name higher, we lift your name higher, we lift your name higher, oh mighty Jesus, we lift your name higher. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns, we give glory to the Lord, He reigns, He reigns, He reigns, He reigns. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns. Hallelujah. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns. He reigns, He reigns, He reigns. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns. Adoration to our God, He reigns. Adoration to our God, He reigns. He reigns, He reigns, He reigns. Adoration to our God because He reigns. All beauty, all glory, all adoration belongs to our God because He reigns. All power, all honor, all glory belongs to our God because He reigns. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns. We give glory to the God, He reigns. We give glory to the Lord because He reigns. We give glory to the Lord because He reigns. We give glory to the Lord because He reigns forevermore. Hallelujah. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Walking in the light of God. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Walking in the light of God. Oh, walk, 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 walk in the Lord. Oh, walk, 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 walk in the Lord. Oh, walk, 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 walk in the Lord. Walking in the light of God. Oh, walk, 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 walk in the Lord. Oh, walk, 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 walk in the light. Oh, walk, 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 walk in the light. Walk in the light of God. Oh, dance, 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 dance in the light. Oh, dance, 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 dance in the light. Oh, dance, 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 dance in the light. Dance in the delight of God. Oh, clap, 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 clap in the light. Oh, clap, 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 clap in the light. Oh, clap, 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 clap in the light. Clap in the light of God. Oh, jump, 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 jump in the light. Oh, jump, 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 jump in the light. Oh, jump, 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 jump in the light. 
Chopping the light of God. Oh, dance, 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 dance in the Lord. Oh, dance, 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 dance in the Lord. Oh, dance, 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 dance in the Lord. Dancing in the light of God. Oh, walk, 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 walk in the light. Oh, walk, 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 walk in the light. Oh, walk, 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 walk in the light. Walking in the light of God. Oh, walk. Walk, walk in the light. Oh, walk, walk, walk in the light. Oh, walk, 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 walk in the light. Walk in the light of God. Oh, sing, 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 sing. Oh, sing, 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 sing. Oh, sing, 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 sing. Sing in the light of God. Oh, laugh, 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 laugh in the light. Oh, laugh, 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 laugh in the light. Oh, laugh, 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 ha, 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 ha. Laugh in the light, laugh in the light of God. Oh, smile, smile, smile in the light. Oh, smile, smile in the light. Oh, smile, smile, smile in the light. Smile in the light of God. Oh, wave to Jesus, wave, 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 oh, wave to Jesus, wave, 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 oh, wave to Jesus, wave, 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 wave in the light of God. Oh, walk, walk, walk in the light, oh, walk, 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 walk in the light, oh, walk, 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 walk in the light, walk in the light of God, walk in the light of God, walk in the light of God, walk, walk. Walk, 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 walk in the light of God. 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 Walk in, walk in, walk in, walk in in the light of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Beautiful people of God. We stop here today. I hope you've been blessed. You've been equipped. You've been rebuilt. You've been reset and be transformed and be restored and be blessed and be favored and be healed inside out with the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to let you know that let God be your sufficiency. Jesus is your sufficiency. In everything that you do and say, Jesus, to be your sufficiency. He is more than able to be your sufficiency. No one else but Jesus. He is the answer and the only thing can save. No one else. Only Jesus can save. Only Jesus can save. Hallelujah. Only Jesus can save. Only Jesus can save. Hallelujah. Only Jesus can save. Only Jesus can save, hallelujah. Only Jesus can save. Only Jesus can save, hallelujah. Amen. I just want to bless you. If you have received Jesus Christ as a personal savior, I want to say congratulations. Where do you have made the right decision? If you have, if you have not received Jesus Christ, I want to lead you to Christ today. Hallelujah. If you would like to be a born again, I want you to confess in your heart all your sins to Jesus Christ and ask him for forgiveness that you are coming back to him today. You're no more going to do it on your own. You want to depend on Jesus. You want to trust and believe in him alone in the name of Jesus. For all have seen and come short of God's glory according to the book of Romans 3.21. All of us have seen we are short of God's glory. That's what the Bible tells us. Hallelujah. In Romans 3.23. And Romans 6.23 says that the wages of sin is death because all of us have sinned. The punishment for, for sin is death. But God has got this special gift which is called eternal life. Eternal life, the gift of eternal life is only through Jesus Christ. If you accept Jesus Christ today, this gift of living forever with God will be yours. Living with God from everlasting to everlasting. You never die again. The second death will never be your portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. So I want you to repent and confess and forsake your sins. If you have your pen, write down Luke 13, verse 3. Acts, 
the book of Acts 3, 19 and John 1, 9, which says Jesus Christ is the true light that lights every man that comes to this world. And Isaiah 55, verse 7, and John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave one, of, one and only of his beloved son, Jesus Christ, that whoever believes in him shall never perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Hallelujah. So I want you to bow down your head right now to receive Jesus Christ. Repeat after me and the Holy Spirit will abide in you and transform you into a new person in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, sweet dearest, Abba Father, our Heavenly Father, I come to you to say thank you for everything. I come to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and I believe in my heart. Repeat after me, please. I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. And I believe in my heart that he died for my sins to set me free. I also believe that you raised him from death for my justification, for my transformation, and for my restoration through the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord Jesus, I invite you today to come into my heart and dwell as my personal Savior and as the Lord of my life. And I thank you for forgiving me all my sins and washing me in the blood of Jesus and uh, making me to be one of members of your holy family through the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. If you have said this prayer sincerely in your heart, I believe that the joy of the Holy Ghost that flows will come into you and remain in your heart and the peace of God that passes through understanding will rest upon you right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Remember the Bible makes it clear that he that is not with us is against us. If you are not with me, you are against me, says the Lord. If you are not with me, you are against me. That is Matthew 12, 30. Hallelujah. It makes it clear that if you are not with God, it means you are against God. So if you want to be with God, Accept Jesus today as your personal savior. Because if you don't accept God, it means you are against God. God say, it's not my word, it's the word of God. Matthew 12, 30. If you are not with me, it means you are against me. I don't want to be against God. Who am I to be against God? Who created me? I didn't make myself. God made me in his own image and likeness. And in fact, he fearfully and wonderfully made me in his image and likeness. So I must follow him and dwell in him. And he dwells in me in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father God, thank you. You are now a born again. I can say congratulations. Welcome to the Holy Family of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are now born again. Congratulations. I will encourage you to find a local church within your area, to find a church that is God-believing church, God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit, where you can meet the pastor of the church and the congregation, and they will be with you to help you, to nurture you with the Word of God, and you can grow with the Holy Spirit, who will be your teacher as long as you are teachable, and you will be able to be nourished and be filled with God's Spirit. And you too can become evangelists of living God tomorrow. But the Bible says you in the book of Proverbs 11.30, only when a man wins souls that God call him a wise person. Hallelujah. I pray that this will be a portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Father God, we thank you for your people. We bless you for who you are. Thank you for this beautiful day you have made. We shall rejoice and be glad. Thank you, Lord, for ushering us into your holy family. Who are we, Jehovah? Thank you for washing away our sins. Thank you for cleansing us. Thank you for making us whole. Thank you for giving us life and life abundant and life everlasting. Glory and honor be to you, Jehovah. Father, bless your people. Help them, Lord. Bless their going out. Bless their coming in. Help them and keep them safe in all areas of their life and their families in the name of Jesus. Father God, shine your face upon them. Be gracious to them in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I say, lift up your countenance upon them right now. Help them to be at the right places at the right time with the right people every day of their lives in the name of Jesus. Father God, the bad news, the bad stories we have will never be our portion in the name of Jesus. Father, grant us our hard desires, O Jehovah. Help us, Lord, to walk in your righteousness. Help us to walk in your perfection. Help us to walk in your full soul in the name of Jesus. Help us, O Jehovah, that all we do will bring glory to you and honor. That everything we start, we start in praises and end in praises for your glory in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, we bless you, we honor you. Grant us the peace that passes every understanding through the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Thank you, all for Father. We glorify you, magnify you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, 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 amen. amen. Come to Jesus and wave us to him. Hallelujah. Jesus is good. He is good. He is good forever. Hallelujah. Don't give up, my sisters, my brothers, my friends. Hold on to Jesus. He's your sufficiency. He's your everything. He's your all in all. Because in him we live. In him we walk. And he will have all our entire being through the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Let Jesus be your sufficiency. I shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Trust and obey. I shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God grant to you your heart desires through the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Amen. Don't forget to subscribe, to share, to like, and to make beautiful comments to glorify the name of the Lord. And the name of the Lord will be praised and blessed. And you too will receive more blessings in Jesus' name. Amen.
Jesus loves you. He cares for you. Don't give up. Don't give up. For he loves you. Don't give up. Don't give up. That Jesus loves you. He cares for you. He loves you. He cares for you. He cares for you. He loves you. Don't give up. Don't give up. Never, never give up. For Jesus loves you. Never, never give up. For Jesus loves you. Never, never give up. For Jesus Christ loves you. I love you, but Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God, loves you best and loves you most. It is well with your soul, in Jesus' name, amen. It is well with our souls. It is well with our souls. It is well, it is well with our souls. As long as we believe in Jesus, it is well with our souls. Hallelujah. God bless you. I love you. Jesus loves you best and he cares for you.